Oh my god, I am so angry at myself. Oh my god, I'm so angry at myself. Okay. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be doing a get ready with me with some first impressions. Um, this is like take two. Lucky it's just this much and not the whole fucking face. So I did start filming and the card was full, it got full and dumb asked me as I was going through to delete things. I deleted, <laughs> I deleted the start. So anyways, we're gonna start again. I've just got this much on, but let's go. Okay, so I've put down the P. Louise base and I am using the Astralis eyeshadow palette that's got all these like purple shades, some light colors, some neutrals. Um, I was saying that this was $7 that I got it for. Um, it was half price in a sale. Um, and I have currently gone in with this shade right here as a transition and I'm just currently darkening up my crease with this purpley shade. Um, I did say that they were very, very buttery, very easy to blend. Um, so yeah, I'm sorry about that, but I'm just going to take that deep brown purple shade and I'm just putting that through my crease. Um, so considering my first half got deleted by an idiot sitting in front of the camera. <laughs> um, let me, let me uh, re-tell you guys what I'm getting ready for. So I'm getting ready for a hen's night tonight. Um, and I have no idea what I'm wearing. I'm just going to take that transition shade once more just to help me blend right here. Yeah, so I have no idea what I'm wearing. Um, so I'm trying to go neutral on the eyes. I'm just also going to swap brushes while, while we're here. I'm just going to take this LA Girl 203 brush and go in that darker shade. Um, yeah, so I have no idea what I'm wearing. So I'm thinking I'd do something quite neutral. So that way, whatever I wear, it will be okay. I hope. We'll see. I don't want to wear a dress. Like, number one, I don't feel comfortable in a dress. And number two, it's going to be quite chilly tonight. So, you know, I'd rather be warm than cold. Even though we're going to be inside. But I know we're travelling from dinner to the club. And I'm not sure whether I'm ready to let my barely there boobies get frozen. So, we'll see how we go. Um, that darker plummy shade is not really doing much to be honest. I feel like it's not as dark as I would have hoped it to be. I mean it looks pretty dark in the pan but I don't feel like it's translating well on my eyes. Like it's leaving me like a, with a, a light darkness which is cute. More for every day I feel though. This bit here does not let anything stick to it. It's so annoying. I prime it so much. And nothing decides it wants to stick. Nothing. Well, since we did the dark purple on the other eye, we have to go in to make it even. I'm quite nervous for tonight. I don't really like clubbing. I hate crowds. I hate crowds. Like, really hate crowds. Um, we went Black Friday shopping yesterday. And, oh my god, the amount of people there. Oh, it was too much. It was way too much for me. I kept getting really moody and angry and people were bumping into me and I was just ooh my skin was my skin was crawling. So I know we've got a booth, but I'm hoping that it doesn't end up being a crowded booth because I'm not sure how exactly I'd go with that. So mind you, so my sisters and I basically have each other. Um, so we tend to do a lot of things together and um, they wanted to go to this uh, club um, and they've got a night where they play uh, like Arabic music and songs and it's basically like an Arab night. So if you didn't know I'm Syrian um, and I reckon we have like the best weddings and stuff but anyway that's for a different, that's for a different video. Um, and they really wanted me to come, <sighs> so I've decided to go with them, and 
I'm trying to get myself out of it because I'm just not that excited for it. Um, okay, so there's not really a darker shade in this palette and I really want my outer corner to be ultra dark. So I'm thinking I might go in with, because I didn't buy any other eyeshadow palettes, I'm thinking I might go in with my Too Faced uh, Chocolate Bar palette and I might go in with um, Triple Fudge here. I'm not sure. Actually, maybe I'll, I'll start with this shade here. This is the Cherry Cordial, and then I'll go in with Triple Fudge. That's what I'll do. I haven't used this palette in ages. I can't even remember what I felt about it. Oh, wow, wow, wow. Oh, goddamn. That's sort of what I'm looking for. I go really high with my eyeshadow because I feel like if I go low, it doesn't really suit my eyes. And I like a more grungy look. I prefer that. Again, if you don't feel comfortable doing that, you don't have to. Oh my god, you guys, can you believe that there's four more weeks till Christmas? Um, what? Where did this year go? I feel like I blinked and that's it. At the end of the... I feel like it... I feel like it was last month that we were doing Christmas. Like, I don't understand. And then I, th I sit there and I think, like, whatever I achieved this year, all I do is work. Just work. And it's not like I'm ultra happy where I am. There's other things I'd rather be doing. But, I mean, in this day and age and life, you need more to survive. Nothing I can do there. But I just feel like I lead a very boring life. And then you see all these people on social media and you go, well, how the fuck are you doing that? Like, how? How do you have such an amazing life? Do you not get tired? Man, I get home and I have a nap. But then you see all these people on social media and they're like, wee, buddy. And I can't understand how. Man, I get tired. Okay, I'm going in with the truffle shade. The triple fudge. Triple fudge. Not truffle. It's this shade right here. It's like a... Uh, like a... Uh, I want to say like a muted black. Only because it's not... It's like a pooey browny blacky colour. So I'm just going to bring that in my inner corner too. I'm also going to be doing um, something really fun and exciting over on my Instagram. So if you're not following me, the link is down below in the description. Um, I'm going to be doing 25 days of Christmas looks. And I have some really cool ideas that I want to do. I'm just hoping they translate well because a lot of the time they look really good in my head. But then when I go and and create them, they just don't. They just end up looking like poo. Oh, that's looking so grungy. I love it. Love, love, love. I always find grungy looking eyes so sexy. Couldn't tell you why, but I do. Oh, okay, so we went, as I was saying before, like we went Black Sale, Black Friday Sale shopping. I either, like, okay, two things. I either don't know or don't understand fashion or I'm just really fat. Like, there's no other explanation, honestly. I can't understand this fashion. You either look like a teeny popper or you wear your pajamas or you wear your lingerie or you can be an idiot and pay... <laughs> anywhere from 50 to $80 for a strip of material to cover your nips. I don't understand. Like, I'm all for cropped tops and all that, but I kind of like it to be a little bit longer than just a strip around my boobs. Mind you, I don't have boobs. I have strawberries with salami nipples. So... Now that shit doesn't work with me. But anyway, oh, and it either looked like granny clothes too. Like some of the stuff just looked like granny clothes. I don't know, I'm, I'm just not feeling it. I feel like I feel like this every summer. I fucking hate summer fashion. I love winter fashion because winter fashion you can just... You layer... You layer, you, you wear scarves, beanies, jumpers, jeans, little booties, and I don't know, it's just so much nicer. Okay, 
So I think I'm happy with that. Yep, quite happy with that. All right, so for the center of the lids, I really, really want to go in with this gold and then maybe top it off with this um, like shimmery silver. That would be neutral enough, wouldn't it? I think so. I think so. All right, I'm just going to go in with the EXO Beauty Short Shadow Brush. And I'm going to go in with the gold first. Mm, it's not picking up that well. See? So I'm going like this. But it's not picking up much at all on the brush. That's weird. Let's see how it goes on the eye. No. Look at this. But it's swatched beautifully. Like, look at this. So I'll use my finger. <gasps> Dug my fucking nail in that. Look at that. I just dug my nail in it. Anyway, so I'll go in with my finger. Look at that. Look at how beautiful it swatches. That's so pooey. Why? Maybe if I wet the brush. I'll wet the brush. I'm trying to avoid using my fingers because, number one, I've got nails. And number two, it's just a pain in the ass. I use my Fix Plus, so I just spritzed it. All right, let's, let's go in and see. All right, fuck it. We'll use my finger. I mean, they are soft. Like, they're quite soft and buttery, but... Oh, see? See, when you look at that. And then I'll go in with my, my blending brush that I use the darker shades with. Blend this out. I kind of feel like we've lost the darkness. You know what? Fuck it. I'm going to go in with some black. I'm just... Holding, I'm just using the mirror for my Stila palette and it's got a black in there, so I'm just going to use that. I'm not too fussed about this outer corner part either. I'm just going to, I'll clean that up, so that's fine. And then I'll use the triple fudge to like blend that out. I kind of envisioned something better than this, but it's alright. Damn, I feel like this eye is the most wrinkliest out of the two. And the most droopiest, it bugs the shit out of me. Like, just be the fucking Sam man. But obviously, you know, your face is not the same. Okay, I really want the center to be a little bit more lighter. I feel like the gold's just a bit too dark for what I'm going for. So I'm going to go in with this silver shade. This one here. See? And I'll swatch it for you as well. Like, isn't that beaut? I think that's beaut, and that's beautiful. I'm going to try it with the brush. I'm going to use the same um, EXO Beauty brush that we went in for the gold. Oh, see, they picked up a bit more. I still think it's a bit wet. Yeah, it is. Tiny bit damp. I'm just going to run that in the center. I'm just going to use my finger to, like, pat it out, blend it in with that gold. Okay. I think what I'm going to do at this point in time, I'm going to clean up this outer portion. So I'm just going to get some makeup wipes and clean up like this outer section. All right, so I'm going to move on to the face for the time being. Um, so I've got this L'Oreal L'Oreal Infallible Illuminaz Illuminazing, Illuminizing Primer. Um, this is the first time I am using it. Well, let's see what it says. Instant super glow effect extends makeup wear. Good. Ultra light formula used under or over foundation. Okay. Do I need to shake it? Doesn't seem that liquidy. Okay. So let's give this a whirl. Ooh. Was that a bit much? Ooh, it's quite pinky. All right, let's let's have a look at this. I'm actually thinking I may have put too much. Okay. Oh no. Oh no. Are you serious? <gasps> Oh my god, did I put too much? It feels soft and slippery, like silicone-y. 
Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh no. Do I, do I take it down my neck? Oh, let's see. Oh. But oh my god, what the fuck? Do I have to really work this in? I look like a fucking pink man. Yeah, oh. Okay, I'm wiping some of this off. I want to wipe my hands so I don't have as much product on my hands. Okay, maybe I put too much and that was the issue. Oh my god. Well, I don't know how to feel about that. I don't know. And I've seen a fair few people use it, so... Okay, so I have two foundations. Um, I did ask you guys on Instagram whether you guys want to see a first impression. Um, I have the L'Oreal Infallible, Infallible Total, uh, Total Cover in Light Sand. Or I have the True Match Super Blend Foundation in Vanilla. I don't know which one to use first. Super blendable foundation perfectly, perfectly matches skin color and texture. I have pores. I don't think I want it to be um, matching my pores. Thank you. Uh, no, okay, I, I'm not feeling matte today, so we'll try the True Blend. So it's to shake it. So I'm shaking it. I hope this is my shade. Again, I guesstimated because it was chaos in there for one. Two, I always feel like drugstore makeup is quite pink. But I tried to get the most yellowy toned. I don't like the feeling of that primer on my hands. It feels disgusting. My skin's looking quite nice, so I'll give it that. But I just look like a fucking tin man. So I hope that doesn't really show through too much once I put the foundation on. Okay, finally it's opened. For fuck's sake. Alright, let's see. This. Oh, it's liquidy. It's hella liquidy. Oh, this should actually be alright for me. Alright, I'm gonna take the Real Techniques Insta Pop Face Brush. Um, they had 40% off on their products, as in price line, so I decided to get some brushes. This one I got last minute. I haven't used a brush in forever for my base. It's looking quite nice. The brush feels beautiful. Hmm. All right, I'll do one side of my face and we'll check it out. The brush is kind of leaving like marks, but like just on my nose area. Okay, I don't know whether it's a brush or not, but it's not sitting well on my nose. Like, look at that. I mean, it's a really good colour match for me, but look at all that. Or maybe it's a primer underneath the foundation. Tell you what I might do, I might use a sponge on the other side. So just let me go and wet a sponge. Okay, I'm back. I've wet my sponge. Side note, so I was just in the bathroom wetting my sponge. And the natural lighting that comes in is actually quite nice. So I was looking at my skin and it looks... Goddamn, so glowy, which is great, but the foundation, uh, it's not sitting well. So again, I'm not sure if it's the, the brush, the primer, so I'm just going to go in, dip my sponge in the foundation, and let's see how it applies with the sponge. Um, I don't think it's really sitting on my skin all that well. To be honest with you. I mean, unless the primer's playing a part in it. I might have to try this with the primer that I usually always use. My nose looks like shite. I definitely feel like it's applied a lot more nicer with the sponge. I don't know if you guys can see that. So this is the side with the brush. Like, it seems okay when I've worked it in. You know what? I'm going to do one more layer and see how we go. Alright, so I'm going to do another two pumps because it's really thin. Look at how quick it, um, it runs down my hand. So it's a really, really thin formula. 
I probably should have tried the full coverage one to be honest for a night like this, but that's okay. Let's go in. I'm just gonna just use my sponge and really see how that goes. It's honestly like the perfect shade for me. I did well. I did really well. You know what? It's so good I've got a small forehead. I don't need that much product on my forehead. I feel like that has laid up really nice. I kind of feel also like it's bringing up a lot of texture in my skin. Like, I don't know if you guys can see that. Like, you can kind of see some texture, especially around my nose, which is so weird because that usually doesn't ever happen. I kind of feel like you'll have to set this as well because I feel like it will definitely slip. And see what happens when I try and blend it out. It's like... Oh, I don't know. Lucky I chose that foundation because I also got the True Match uh, Concealer. Cool. This is in the shade Creamy Beige. I don't know if you guys can see that. Here's the packaging. So let's go in and try this. Hopefully it's the correct shade. Um, I think that's a bit darker. It's definitely very yellow, which is good. I kind of like a yellow concealer because it kind of brightens up my under eyes. Due to genetics and stuff, we kind of... Well, I, I do get some really dark circles. We'll blend it out, see where, we, where we're at. Oh, blends out really nice. Wow, blends out really easily. I definitely feel like it's covered some of the texture there that came up from that foundation. I just don't know if it's enough coverage for under my eyes for what I want today. Uh, I really don't think I'm liking the foundation. Oh, look at that. There, why is it doing that? I'm not fucking, what the fuck? What is it, the primer or the foundation? Has anyone else tried this foundation? What do you guys think of it? I'm gonna go in with my Too Faced um, multi-use sculpting concealer in Vanille Air. Just to give me just some more coverage down underneath my eyes. Maybe to hide the shitty looking fucking base that I've got on at this moment in time. Hopefully it gets better. I wonder if this foundation is more for like a light wear, like for every day, so just to even out your skin tone. Um, I actually wonder if it's that. Like you know those foundations where you quickly apply with a brush, not too much, not like how I did where I packed the brush, but just like enough to cover. Oh, no, not even cover, just like even out your skin tone. I wonder if it's that. Or I wonder if it's really just a primer or... Like my nose looks like absolute shit. Like look at the texture of my nose. Moving right along. Things, I kind of want to do some cream contouring. Might go in with the Smashbox step-by-step -step, uh, contour stick. Haven't used this in a while. Doesn't smell off. I need to sharpen it though. Let's see how it goes. I hope it blends well on the skin. God help me, I can't have this skin looking like shit. I'm gonna start this quite higher up than I usually would. I'll use, I'll use a brush. And see what happens. Okay, now I'm definitely gonna need, need to use a sponge, I think. Yeah, because I've put too much product. So it'll just help to remove some of the excess. I really don't think anything's sitting well on my nose today, to be honest. Okay, I'm gonna move on to setting my under eyes. I'm going to use the Maybelline Fit Me powder. Um, I actually really like this. I did a first impression on it the other day when I tried out the new Satin Dream Liquid Foundation. And it was really, really, really beautiful. I was actually surprised because I didn't think it was going to be that nice. But it made my under eyes look flawless. So we're just going to put some underneath my eyes. Okay, let's move on to the lower lash line. I think I might take, um, I'm gonna take the darker purple. Uh, my models prefer shadow and concealer brush. I'm gonna run that underneath my eyes. I'm just gonna go in with this random white brush and going with that light brown shade that we used for the transition originally. 
I'm just going to run that across my lower lash line. All right, I'm gonna go in with my Cover FX Pressed Mineral Foundation in G50. Just to set it, because I really feel like you need to set this foundation, to be honest with you guys. I'm just using the Insta Cheek Brush, no Cheek Brush, Face Brush by Real Techniques. Just patting the powder into my skin. I'm not swiping or anything like that. I really don't know how I'm feeling about this makeup. All right, let's bronze. I'm going with my Hourglass Bronzer in Luminous Bronze Light. I love this stuff. Love it. So pretty. Let's bronze up this. Yeah, today's not my day. All right, blush time. Blush. What am I gonna use for blush? I might um, mix some blushes together. So I've got this Bare Minerals palette and I'm gonna take the blush shade from that palette. And just to put that. Okay, so highlighter, again, I didn't get anything for highlighter, but I'm gonna go in with my Anastasia Beverly Hills Globe palette. Um, I haven't used this in a while, so I'm going to take Marshmallow and Stardust. So Marshmallow and Stardust. Mix them two together. Apply that on my cheekbones. Ooh, damn. Alright, brows time. Alright, so let's brush these brow hairs up. I want to try the Brow Artist Expert and see how that goes. I believe this is like a pencil. Like a pen, like a angled pencil. Okay, so I finally opened it. Just got a spoolie on one end. All right, let's have a crack at this. I feel like the pencil is quite thick. I'm not used to thick pencils like this. It is giving me a a really nice line though. Okay, I think that's all right. Okay, and the eyebrow gel that I got. This um, models prefer brow fixer. It's a clear gel mascara. So let's have a whirl of this. Standard like schwole. I'm just gonna good. I'm just gonna run this into my brows. Is it even doing anything? Mm, not the best. I don't know if it's gonna hold my brows in place. Doesn't feel like it's doing much. Um I kinda wanna apply maybe a wing liner and some lashes. So I'm gonna go off camera and do that now because I feel like this video is gonna be fucking long. Um, and then we can come back for the lips, I guess. Okay, guys, so I ended up going ahead, putting some lashes on. I put my eyeliner, then I put some black on my um, inner, uh, lower lash line and uh, tight lined with black. And then I just smudged it down, made it extra, like, dark and grungy. So I don't know what I'm going to do with the lips. I might go in with my mane by Dose of Colors and Desi and Katie. You know, that collaboration. First, I'll go in with LA Girls lip, uh, Chocolate Lip Liner. If everything would just like to stay on my desk, that'd be great. I'm going to outline my lips with that. Okay, so just like that. Okay, so I'm going to go in with the Dose of Colour Desi X Katie Collection uh, Liquid Lipstick in my main. Yep, cool. For some extra zhuzh, zhuzh I'm gonna use the Dust of Colors over the top <clears throat> lip gloss. This will also help blend like the ombre lip I feel. Okay, so hair is curled. I know I said get ready with me, but it ended up being like a tutorial first impression. Plus it was gonna be too long, so I'm sorry, I will get better. Um, so yeah, I curled my hair, put some like Glitter hairspray in. Can you guys see that? Yeah. <laughs> Put some glitter hairspray in just to be a little bit extra. Um, I still gotta figure out what I'm gonna wear. So <laughs> I don't even know what I'm wearing. <laughs> okay, so, anywho, I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, subscribe. It's for free. It's for free. No spam emails. Okay. Um, yeah, subscribe, turn on that notification bell, and um, yeah, I'll see you guys in my next one. Thank you so much for watching.
Bye. See you later. Bye.